Charles Harrison's been a paparazzo for more than 20 years. Today, he agreed to give us a couple of lessons. Lesson number one, travel in style. You know, an Escalade, how many hours a week do you spend in this car? Far too damn many. At least okay. eight hours a day. Lesson number two, you got to go where the celebrities are. I usually do this route till about 11, 11.30. The thing you're trying to catch at this point is people doing all those morning kind of activities. All right, but it's quarter to 10 in the morning. Aren't people like already into their days yet? Well, you, you got you to gotta think, celebrities aren't like normal people. Yeah, that's true. Like, for example, last week, Dylan McDermott was doing push-ups right here. And that's worth a picture because? One, it's a celebrity. Two, he's doing push-ups, and he was dressed in jeans and a freaking normal shirt, and he's just dropping. That, was, that was total picture bait. He was waiting for you guys to come by. No, he had no idea. Lesson number three, even a celebrity sitting on a park bench is worth getting, but some aren't really worth driving across town for. Hey, what's up? Uh, it's just like a cup, and I can see that rice cup I have to... Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll pass. Okay. Why'd you pass on Zach? Can't give him away. <laughs> That's just so cold. It's what we colloquially refer to in the industry as Jamba Juice money. Because That's about the only money you're going to make off of that. No question the business side of being a paparazzo can be harsh. But Giles taught us one more thing. Even if the celebrity you spot isn't worth Jamba Juice money, it still pays to be a fan. Weren't you in Harper Valley PTA? My God, how's that possible? You're too young. I'm, I'm not that young. Yes, I was Rod McCary. That's it. Yeah. Giles, nice Giles. to meet you. Nice to meet you, Giles. Thanks for remembering. Yeah. I want to tell you all a story about a Harper Valley widowed wife yeah. who had a teenage daughter who attended Harper Valley.